Well, welcome to lesson three. I'm going to show you how the TriCaster Mini works. Right now, I'm already in the um, TriCaster window, but I'm going to exit out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like when we start. So we have the TriCaster Advanced Edition. And it takes a little time for everything to click in. And this window here is the actually the second window. I'm going to click this arrow right here, and it brings me to the start. And these are like all of the icons that you can click to start with. And there's the start one. And on this side, this is where our shows are. The first two are test ones. Actually, all except for the bottom ones are test ones. So I'm going to go down to where it says um, Hank's. And I'm going to click it. And that's the Porsche one there. But I'm going to click this one here. And it should bring us, and it says start live productions and we're going to start it well everybody i'm going to try this uh, i'm going to try it going to, to uh, a virtual set now i don't have a green screen behind me i actually have a blue one and i'm going to show people i am coming over here to <coughs> my program input too and i'm going to click on it and i'm going to come over here to where it says um live mat and i'm going to click on that what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the clicker and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit that and it puts me into a black screen behind you. Now, I'm going to say close that. Now, this is my preview window and I want to delete that up so you can see it and I'm also recording on the camera right here behind me so that I can kind of move them back and forth when time comes. So, with that being said, now what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to put myself in a set that looks halfway decent with this in in the um, should we say the monitor below. So I'm going to come over here to ME1 and then ME1 right now I have got this but I'm going to take and get rid of my E out and you can see that I have a whole bunch of different things that I can put in there and the one I want is I do want to go to Night Beat, and I think that's it right there, Night Beat. And I am going to come over here, and I'm going to click right here on the center Night Beat. So let's see what the top one looks like. There's the top one. If I click OK, and now if I go to any one, there's my new studio. So that's not too bad. And if I didn't like that studio, I would come back over here to Night Beat, and above it it says Centered. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click on Night Beat again. And let's see what happens if I click left, and I go left. Now there I am on the left. Now, the neat thing on this is I can make some changes. So I'm going to come over here, and if my memory is correct, it's this one. I'm going to click here, and if you watch, you can see me. Let's see, i got to click here, and position, oh there it is, position, Ugh. okay, I'm going to move myself this way, and you see that I can move myself wherever I want, okay, and the other thing I can do is if I wanted to, and I don't, but I'm going to, I'm going to zoom out a little, make myself a little bit smaller, all right, so that's a way I can do that. And what's that one over there? Oh, I don't want, you want to see me rotate? Whoa, how about that? I'm upside down, but I don't like upside down. So I'm going to go back to reset, and I don't really like that shot. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to come back over to Night Beat, click on it, and I'm going to go to center. And let's see, I think this is a different Night Beat, but I don't know. Bang. And there it is. Yeah, it's a little bit different, I think. All right. So, what you've just seen me do is I have come in, and I'm going to go one. I'm going to come to one. I'm going to put this one up, and I'll put me in the background so you can kind of just see a little bit. But what I did is this, all right? This is program out. This is what's coming up next. So, if I wanted to see what's coming up next, I could either do this, and uh, let's put uh, let's put cycle T. <clears throat> so this is DVR one. This is where I store video. So if I click on that, that's the next thing to come up. 
and when if I hit my switcher, I hit take, that's what you're going to see. Hey Something everybody. Uh, this I really is don't want to see the time I've tried so this. I'm going to come back and I'm going to say let's go back to the other one. And there it is. So I came back to this. Now, this is camera one, which is the camera that's over my shoulder and recording. And this is camera, well, I don't have camera two up, so let's put camera two up. There's camera two. So, with that being said, now I want to come over here and say, you know what? I'm going to put in my virtual set. So let's see what my virtual set looks like. So if I click here, there's my virtual set. And you know what? Let me show everybody my new set. Yeah. Whoa, there it is. So I'm learning this thing. To do a virtual set, you need a solid color behind you. It's usually uh, a green screen. Uh, I went to the store and they didn't have green, they only had blue. And my good buddy Brian Ross told me, don't spend a lot of money on a green screen. You can do it with any color you want. And he's right because I bought a cheap set of curtains that are dark blue. And that's what my background is. So now you can see I've got a virtual set. Now, let's see if I can change the virtual set on the fly. So let's find, what is this? Oh, I don't know what this is, but let's see how it looks. I'm not standing up, so it's, I don't think it's going to be too good, but let's see. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Yeah, it's got me with a desk. I don't look good on that one. So I'm going to get out of that one. And let's see what else we got here that might look good. What's this? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. That's something that drops in me. Oh, let's try this one. Bang. Okay. Yeah, there's my new set. And and I look a little big in that set. So what I want to do is that is camera two. So I want to come in here. And I want to shrink myself so I'm gonna rather than zoom. Uh, it's not doing what I wanted to do, is it? Uh, yeah, there it is. I'm, I'm getting a little bit smaller, but I don't like that position. Move me over a little bit. And uh, I don't want to rotate myself. So that's its position, its edges. So there you go. I just. I just kind of move myself around a little bit. And usually what you do is you set this up way, way beforehand so that it'll work. Now, with that being said, I'm going to see how my recording looks and then I'll use back and forth footage from what I got and see if I can't build something here. So with that being said, I am going to say goodbye for lesson number whatever. I think it's lesson number three. We're going to call this virtual sets. I will tell you that it's kind of neat, but it is. It's really neat. So with that being said, uh, and you'll notice that right in here, there's no screen, so there's nothing to go in that. So this isn't in there. And, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, because you know what? I'll put, the, I'll put something with a screen back in. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. How about this one? This will have me sitting. And my screen will be here, bang, and there I just put my screen in back there. Now it's not perfect, well when I say not perfect, it is perfect, but that, because that's what I put the screen, and that's everything we got. So, with that being said, as we sit here on Cycle Fever, join the adventure, and enjoy the ride. I'm going to fade to black, and I'll see you later.